Hi everyone, this is William from Skysiv, and in this video we're going to be looking at cutouts and holes. So to kick things off, I'm going to go into my templates and I'm going to be adding a rectangular block. Now I want to make this a little bit wider, so I'll make it a width of 50 and I want to make this um, a little bit less tall, so I have a width of 70. Now I want to be able to add a circular hole in the center. So to be able to do that, I want to be able to add more than one shape. So I uncheck this box, I add a circular shape, and I change the diameter to say 20. Now for me to position this in the center, I need to do some operations. So I need to translate 15 in the Z axis and 25 in the y-axis to position me in the center of this rectangle. Now I'm going to be turning this into a cutout so you'll notice that even though it's designated as structural steel at the moment once you specify cutout the material selection box area disappears and you're only left with a hole which you can change the dimensions to and the operations to, but nothing else. Now that you have a hole in the center of your shape, you can hit the calculate button. And you're given results based on both of these shapes together. So the hole counts as a reduction in area and correspondingly the centroid uh, because we position the circle at the same center as the rectangle the centroid of the overall section stays the same and you'll get corresponding values for moment of inertia elastic section moduli shear properties as well as torsion properties so um, as a quick test um, remember this number if you delete this hole perform a calculation on this you'll notice that the area has increased and the moments of inertia would have increased accordingly as well so I hope you've enjoyed this quick video regarding how to add um, holes and cutouts to your materials and I hope to catch you in the next video thanks and bye for now